So, hello. Um, this is going to be my first uh, vlog on this account as Chrissy Speaks. Um, I think that pretty much says it all. Um, this one's going to be about uh, gay marriage. Um, it's definitely something that I'm for. I am extremely, liber extremely liberal when it comes to a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> I'm completely against capital punishment. I'm pro-choice. I am for gay marriage. Um, I, the one thing that I agree with uh, the Republicans on is the whole gun thing. I think everybody should be able to own guns. Because look at Vermont. Everybody can own guns. And there's like a less than 3% crime rate when it comes to guns. Because you're not going to rob somebody if you don't know if they have a gun. It makes sense. But then again, since, you know, the government never really made sense or has made sense for a while. Anyway, that was enough of a tangent. Got it out of the way. Um, <clears throat> I feel that the biggest argument against gay marriage is the, um, the evangelicals, the Christians that are saying that it is wrong to be gay. Um, first of all, I want you to say, gay, being gay, is not a choice. Say it with me. Being gay is not a choice. Being gay is genetic. It's in you. My first crush, first time I had a crush on a girl, I was five, maybe, four, five. I didn't know it was a crush because obviously I wasn't like sexually uh, educated or didn't have that little thing we call a libido yet. Um, but the first time that I had a girlfriend, I was 11. 11. I knew inside me that I was attracted to girls. I knew it. Now, the first thing that people say is, you know, especially when somebody comes out and they say, you know, oh, hey, by the way, I'm gay. Um, say it's a guy that says that. You know, people opposed to homosexuality would be like, well, how do you know? And the guy goes, well, I just, I know. And they're like, well, you've never been with a guy, so you can't be gay. You, you, how do you know? My argument to that how do you know you're straight? I want the answer. I want you guys to answer me. How do you know you are straight? Now, think about the question that people ask gay people. How do you know you're gay? Same exact question. Same question. Can you come up with an answer? You know you're attracted to the same sex, both sexes, or the opposite sex. You just know. It's not a choice, okay? So that's, that's my biggest counter argument when people say, well, honey, now you're gay. <laughs> um, the sanctity of marriage would be destroyed. Yeah, because, God, we, we really don't want to destroy the sanctity of Britney Spears' 55-hour just-for-fun marriage. Um, or the divorce rate. I mean, God, that, that's so, it's so sacred. We really don't want to fuck with that. You know, the word matrimony, it is a Christian word. It is derived from Christian Bible, whatever. I'm not sure exactly, but it's Christian. That's fine. We don't need your word. We'll just say marriage. We will say, you know, I mean, even civil union, you know, something. As long as it's recognized as a true marriage. Now, marriage licenses came in after the Emancipation Proclamation, because they didn't want white people to marry black people. That is why we have marriage licenses, because somebody would sit at a table and say, yes, you are allowed to marry this person. That is why we have marriage licenses. Now, when you think about it, how many people are interracially marriaging? Getting married? Marriaging? I don't know. How many people are doing that? How many people are getting married that are one person's Jewish, one person's Christian. We have so much diversity now that would have been frowned upon a hundred years ago. It would have been blasphemy, complete blasphemy, if a white person married a black person or a, a Arab married a Buddhist. You know, it's, it, it would be so frowned upon. Have we not evolved at all as a society since then? We've evolved as far as interracial marriage and, you know, inner denomination, inner religion, whatever, marriage. Why not inter... 
homosexual marriage. <laughs> Come on, people. I mean, I don't feel that the sanctity of marriage and the sanctity of the word matrimony is a good argument. I don't. If you don't want, if you think that being gay is wrong, if you think it's a sin, don't marry a gay person. If you're a guy, don't marry a guy. If you're a girl, don't marry a girl. Why, why, why do we have something to do with that? I'm sure there were people out there that were saying that uh, Roseanne and Tom Arnold shouldn't have gotten married. We have no say in it, though. It's their life. Did that affect your child's education? No. So, I mean, if you look at... I'm looking at it like this. People that want to get married, they want to get married because they love each other. They want to get married because they want to have that unity. And for homosexuals to be completely, like, just thrown out and not allowed to have that, I think is wrong. We shouldn't say, you cannot marry that person. We're going back in time. Don't you see this? So, um, in conclusion, um, basically, I want to say, um, I want to know your views. I want to know what you think. Um, and hopefully, uh, you guys may have possibly seen, like, a different side. I like to do that in my videos, as you probably know from my other account. Um, and thank you to everybody that's been coming over to this account. Hopefully I get more of you guys and more friends and stuff, because I love hearing you guys' opinions and comments and stuff. So, um, until next time.